Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode in our Games from A to Z series. L is for The Long Dark. This is, uh, I, I played this one a little bit already, just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, there is no story mode currently, it's not available, this is still in alpha. Uh, but it does let you play sandbox mode, you get to kind of choose your difficulty, uh, Pilgrim, Voyager, or Stalker. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy hard, I'm not going to go crazy easy, we're going to play this right on the default, uh, normal difficulty, I guess you could call it. So let's get into Voyager mode, you can choose between male and female, why don't we go ahead and play female? I don't think it, uh, I don't get that choice very often, so why don't we do it? Um, there are other uh, maps that they are planning to build. Currently, you can only play in Mystery Lake, so we are going to be playing that one, or at least I do believe that is uh, what it is. Maybe it's just spawn points, and this map is larger than I thought, but I guess we'll see. So jumping into it, uh, getting this game loaded up, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane down, crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Messed that one up a little bit, but uh, whatever, what can you do? Uh, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. From Seneca. Totally. So there we are. We're popped in, and it looks like maybe it's morning. Could be evening. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Whatever direction this is, it's either east or west. Uh, direction of the setting sun or the rising sun, I can't tell. Looks like it's about centered here, so that's a good thing to know and be aware of. Um, let's take a look around right now. What have we got in our inventory? We're probably clothed, at least for the most part. Uh, we've got a down vest, basic wool hat, some long, uh, cotton long underwear. Jeans are pretty beat up, so are our socks. Shoes are doing okay, but they're pretty tough, I would imagine. Um, we can repair things, but you need the materials to do it. You can also salvage materials from other bits of uh, clothing you might find that may be in worse condition or other clothing that may have better stats that you want to repair with what you've currently got. Harvest it down. It does take time. This game is basically... Um, take it for The Sims, I guess, on a super, super basic level. Like, you have fatigue, cold uh, levels, hunger, and thirst that you have to manage. And uh, on top of that, you have to manage your calorie burning uh, and resources. So when you get food and drink, you kind of have to pay attention to how much calories you're burning. Running costs you more stamina or calories. And the less you get on, uh, on those, you know, you're burning through your energy. You need to keep that up. And as it gets colder, you're definitely going to be starting to freeze, things like that. You need to stay warm, build yourself fires. And it looks like the sun is rising, so I'm thinking this is west. Or no, I'm sorry, east. So we're heading east. Ooh, we are pretty cold, though. We are getting warmer running around like this, though. That's one of the reasons I'm kind of running currently. We've got uh, calories to burn, but we are quite cold at this point. Um, in my Oh, what is this? You can find stuff lying about. This might just be wood, or it could be... It looks like a frozen corpse. Let's search the corpse. See if we can find any useful materials. And it doesn't look like it. Nothing there. That was a waste of a little bit of energy backtracking, but so be it. Uh, it's a risk of reverse reward. We need some supplies sooner or later. Ideally, we need to find a place that we can uh, we can call home for at least a little bit. Some place we can start a fire, maybe in a stove, uh, and take a rest on an actual bed somewhere where we're not going to freeze out in the elements. We can sleep out here. We have a bedroll. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at least I did when I started last time. Um, though some of the gear seems different from last time, too. Uh, this looks like a hut. You can see smoke coming out the top, too, it looks like. Uh, there are predators in this game, including wolves, and I believe maybe, if not already, in the future, uh, there will be, I think, bears? Things like that that you may find out here. Uh, there's also deer and maybe smaller game animals, though I'm unsure on that. Looks like we've got a hut out here that's pretty beat down. Let's take a look inside see if we can find anything. Crouch down, sneak on in here. What do we see? Anything at all? I don't see anything in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything that we can use. Oh, was that just me freaking out there? What, what is this? Crow's feather. Okay, I guess we'll take that. You can also uh, forage things. Like, I've found lichens, I've found mushrooms, I've found rose hips, things like that, that uh, all may be able to be used. Though, I had a bunch of rose hips when I was just playing this one previously, and uh, I wasn't able to eat them, so that was something. I, I thought rose hips were edible, but not, I mean, they're not going to be super high in calories, obviously, but it, if you're starving, it might be something, but it doesn't seem like that would work, at least now. Maybe you have to process them in some way. Or maybe cook them, boil them for tea. I don't. I don't entirely know. Um, looks like we're gonna find our way up to this trapper's hut. We got a little bit of a graveyard here. Looks like. So that, that's just rock shadows. How do we get up to you, though, hut? How do we do that? Is it around this side? I bet you it's around this side. Uh, if we can find a way up, that is. It may have been through that little graveyard. Maybe I just missed something. Can we <laughs> climb up this? 
Come on. As far as I know, there is no jump, so uh, something to keep in mind there. Ooh, fell off a little step. You can twist ankles. There are other other things you can do. I, I've had a sprained ankle once randomly while I was crouching behind a tree. I had like a hunting rifle and one bullet, and I tried to kill an elk or a deer or whatever the hell it was in the distance. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's up in the Canadian wildernesses, but... Uh, I, I guess I missed, or maybe it wasn't enough of a good hit. I thought I hit it pretty square in the upper chest. I understand, lady. Let's get you inside. Looks like we did find the entrance here. Is there anything outside we can snag real fast? Doesn't look like it. Let's head in. Trapper's Homestead. Is there anybody here? Um, I don't think there's actually NPCs in this game at this point, though I do believe the story mode, or single player, whatever you want to call it, or even maybe in the future the... Uh, uh, the, the the uh, sandbox mode that we're playing now may have uh, okay. NPCs in the future. As far as I'm aware, that's kind of a thing that they're supposed to be adding. Searching another container here with nothing. Okay. Maybe the drawer? Anything in the drawer? Ah, oh, some scrap metal. And that's going to be about it. Now this workbench uh, looks like... Oh, nice. I haven't actually found this before. You can actually process things here. Basic hook suitable for... F oh, I didn't know you could fish in this game, to be quite honest. We need some cured gut. That means I'd have to kill something or find a corpse. You can find corpses of animals caught out in the wilderness fishing tackle. We need line and hook. So we can build line if we can find cured gut. We have scrap metal. We can build snares for catching a small game. We can make ourselves a torch with reclaimed wood, kerosene, and cloth. Old man's beard wound dressing. Okay, old man's beard lichen is one of the things you can find hanging on a tree uh, that I found in my little playthrough to get prepared for playing this initially. Rabbit skin mitts. Looks like you can make yourself some types of uh, clothing. Bear skin rug. Survival bow. Ooh, that would be good. Cured maple sapling and cured gut times two. So it's definitely going to be advantageous to... Uh, forage out there for stuff you can find, it looks like, of course. Grabbing ourselves some stuff, we just found some matches, some flares. Uh, a good thing to know about flares is I do believe you can use them to kind of hold uh, wolves at bay. So, like, if you're getting surrounded by, like, a group of wolves out in the wilderness, you can light a torch and be like, no, no, get away! Things like that, uh, as far as I'm aware. Jerry can, sure. Sure will come in handy. How about the locker? What do we got in the locker? Energy bar, I'll take it. And that's going to be it that I can loot there. Uh, tender plug's going to be useful. A bandage will definitely be useful in the future. What did I just see here? Rifle. Rifle round. There it is. Oh, one shell. It's so hard to see these things sometimes. But we got one shell there I could find. Uh, let's take a look here. We got some things under the bed. Search this metal container. Nice. Some basic gloves in pretty decent shape. Another candy bar. I'll take them both. Going to be good things. Oh, look at that. Another rifle round. Looks like beef jerky. Take that rifle round. We got two rifle rounds. Books can be used for uh, kindling. At this point, it's, it says you can use them for reading or learning things, but I think that's just kind of an allusion to how worthless that is at this point. Um, at least, you know, as long as you already know what you're doing, it's not a book like How to Survive in the Wilderness. And that might be one worth holding on to, or at least reading before you burn it, yeah? 85% chance of starting our fire with these current materials. Uh, how are we doing? We are not freezing. We're actually warming up in here, so that's good. Um, there's a med kit, or, uh, yeah, like a med kit on the wall there, and it looks like a rifle rack. I was able to actually find a rifle at a different, like, spot previously when I was playing this, because, uh, you can, in fact, I'm gonna see, I, I'm trying to listen for noises here, uh, you can spawn in different locations, it's random where you spawn, I spawn near an outlook, um, near, like, a logging camp, and was able to find some, like, fire outpost, but, uh, there was a rifle there with the one shot that I was able to find. I don't think we're going to get in here. I don't know what the what the process is for unlocking that stuff. Let's check this first aid kit. Antiseptic. Bandage. Nice Painkiller. It's great. A couple of good things. How are we looking on everything? Good. We're not too hungry or thirsty just yet. We're not too tired, and we're warming up. we got about 13 hours of daylight left. Uh, here's one thing to keep in mind. You don't go out and like chop wood down yourself manually. What you do is you hit tab for your survival menu, this thing. And uh, this is it shows your calories, you, how long you've survived for, the wind chill, and how you currently feel. Uh, your equipment does, in fact, uh, change things like that. Do we have gloves already? I don't think we have gloves, do we? Let's equip these. Where are those things? Uh, da -da -da -da. Do we find anything else that we could wear that could, uh, could help us out there? I don't think so. Uh, we got shoes. We got two bullets. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to everything currently. Um, and now that we've got our hat equipped, that should help us a little bit more. 
Um, but you, you basically, what I was saying was you can go out and forage. It basically tells you how long it'll take. If you have a tool to use, it'll show up here. Like I had found a hatchet. It helped me speed up my time to find wood. This is going to take almost four hours and cost us about one th or four, 417 calories out of our 1540 currently. Uh, I do believe that's worth it to find some extra wood because you do need a lot of wood for either crafting or just keeping yourself not from freezing to death. So done that, we found our wood. It basically gives you straight off the bat like what you're going to get. This is how much time I want to spend out there finding whatever I need. How are we doing on space currently? 30 out of 66 pounds. That looks okay to me. We are not cold at all. So let's get out uh, in there, into the cold, and make use of this time back into the outdoors. I don't know this area. I've never actually been here before. That's what I tried to shoot in the past, and I was fairly close probably from there to maybe this tree line maybe a little closer and I shot pretty squared up in the iron sights and I must have missed I guess maybe condition plays a part uh, weapon condition maybe plays a part in accuracy though that's uh, speculation don't trust me on that unless you've heard it elsewhere or if you want to investigate it drop in the comments below if you know um, I'd really love to know for sure I have not done much research other than just jumping into this I think that's a little more authentic to getting started in a new game like this. Here's some of that uh, old man's beard, whatever it was called. Old man's beard licking. That's exactly what it was called. I wasn't sure if I got that right. But yeah, you just come up to it, click it. It'll tell you what it is. You click again. Left click, that is. And you'll take it. It takes a few seconds to actually grab it, but you basically just come out here and grab as much as you can. Um, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that... Uh, like the random things you may find out in the out in the snow and out in the wilderness, like corpses, backpacks, candy bars, things like that strewn about may randomly uh, appear when you're not in the area, as far as I'm aware. I was in one area kind of exploring, and I left, came back, and there were new stuff, at least maybe things I just didn't notice that's totally possible. But uh, it also might be possible that things like that respawn, like little small random events, like, oh, somebody died last night, here's their corpse, and here's their backpack, kind of a thing if you find it. Though, like I said, don't know for certain. Okay, so this is what I was doing on a hillside like this, through the trees, crouched down with my rifle, probably about... Let's see if I can spot him. <sighs> Seemed like maybe about this close. Yeah, give or take. Maybe a little further away. Yeah, he spotted us. That's okay, we don't got anything to chase her down with anyway. Uh, you do need hunting knives, uh, hatchets, things like that all come in handy. Hunting knives will help you get more meat off of corpses, or at least be more efficient. You don't waste as much meat hacking at it or just pulling it apart with your hands, things like that. There's another one down there. They're pretty docile. I don't think they'll attack you unless maybe they're seriously provoked, but it also might be the case that, uh, that I'm incorrect on that and they just run away regardless. Um... Wolves will attack you in packs. It's kind of terrifying, I've seen. I watched some Let's Plays of this back in back when the uh, Alpha first launched, and I've I picked it up and been quite intrigued by it since I have not played it until just today. My little brother picked it up for me for a birthday present a little while back. That was nice of him. i got to say thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, did I spot something here on the ground? Doesn't look like it. That may have been just a figment of my imagination or the downside of a branch, something like that. Who knows? Is that a wolf? That is a branch. God, had me freaking out there for a minute. Or at least a little leery. I'd love to find another thing here. We pulled all of our goods out of the last place, which was nice. Uh, we're able to still run off with all that stuff looted. So we may not have to come back. We're not leaving anything behind as we go explore to try to find our next location. Uh, we are going... I think that came up there, so that's east. We're heading north. Oh, look at this. Oh, I kind of recognize this. I may have been through here on my last playthrough. I may kind of know where I am. Okay, so here's some uh, reishi mushrooms, a large edible shelf mushroom found mainly on conifer trees. Each one of these shelves can be looted. Snagging up those while we can. Thankfully we're not freezing yet. Now another thing you can do is get out of... Oh, beautiful! Get out of the wind uh, by huddling down behind walls or up against things like this, I believe. We found ourselves a hatchet that should make gathering wood much easier. And it looks like we also have a corpse over here. Dead deer. What is this? Raven feather. Crow feather. That's what it was, not raven. 
deer carcass frozen. We can pull as much as we can. It'll take six minutes to pull off a pound and a quarter. We need a hide, and we can take both guts. It'll take us about an hour to pull that. For 234 calories, I'll take it. Definitely going to be something worthwhile. We're using our axe to uh, to use that. As you can see, the, the condition has lowered a bit, but we've got a good amount off of it. Now that is completely cleared out. We don't need anything more from that corpse, or we can't get anything more from that corpse, at least. Oh, I didn't know you could harvest these, too. Cat sails. We'll take these. This, what does it say? Cattail head can be used as tender. Its stock is tough, not very filling, but edible, so we can eat it or burn it. Good thing to be aware of. Ooh, more shells. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw something else. I thought I saw, like, string or maybe guts strewn about. I think it was just me, my footsteps. Ooh, more shelves. Jeez, they're like hidden all over the place on these little stumps. Good to know if you're really hurting for food. Uh, but we are freezing, so let's get moving. Picking up some cedar firewood there. And we're going to cut across this frozen lake. It looks pretty solid. And I believe if I keep heading this way up on this hill behind the trees here, you might be able to just start seeing it there. Oh, we are getting pretty, pretty frozen. Oh, we are hurting for food. That's what's going on. We need some food. Let's eat some beef jerky. And do we have anything to drink? We do have something to drink. Let's drink this. See if we can get that uh, a little more good to go on ourselves. Be able to run a bit faster. We got just under a thousand calories. We were definitely slowing down there. I maybe need to take it a little easier on the running, but we're freezing. We need to get inside somewhere before we die. Before we freeze to death keeping it moving. If we can get up here, I don't really like this lookout because it takes so long to get up to. In my experience, it just seems like w wasted calories going all the way up the hill. If we can find something at the base, it would be much easier that we could just run directly to. I think... I think we can head straight up this hill. If I'm not mistaken. Is that a fence? If that was a fence I saw up there. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah, that's a fence. This is exactly where we're supposed to be going, or at least where I want to be going right now. This is where I found my hunting rifle before. We've already got two bullets for it. That's better off than I was before. Uh, I At this point, we've got food, um, so I don't think I'll really push for hunting just yet until we get desperate. If anything, I'll use it for defense if we get surrounded by wolves, though we do have flares to maybe chase them off to and save some ammo still. There may be... I found a corpse out in that logging field previously. We'll come back down later and see if we, that's still the case. You know, I really like the art style of this game. It's just super simplistic, but it's also, like, well-formed. Like, the shapes and everything are, are well-formed, even if it is a little bit rough and blocky. I just think it fits really well for, for what, they, what they did to bring it all together. Let's check along here. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a can here. Where's my, there's my pointer. But I, last time I found, like, a backpack there, food, and a few sodas. Now it's just the one soda, so... Uh, this isn't, wasn't in the continuation of my game or anything. You guys saw me start it from scratch, so... It shouldn't be carried over as far as having been looted, but... I mean, I don't know. I really don't know the ins and outs of how this game world works. Just yet. Pushing on up. <sighs> doesn't look like much there. Nothing in those corners that I can see. It's always good to check along walls and fences. Sometimes you can spot things like that can of soda we found. We're certainly still freezing. If we can get up the rest of this hill, we'll definitely be uh, well positioned, at least for the night, um, or at least for now. <clears throat> Though we do have quite a ways until dark. We could use that time, the forestry lookout. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This little look at it, it's just a ways up a hill, a lot of wasted calories to get up here though. It does give you a pretty good uh, view of everything around the area, so you can kind of plan out where you want to go. Uh, and it's off the ground and all that, which is kind of nice, so like you can spot wolves in the area before you come down or out the door, but... Actually, you come out the door, but you know what I mean. Before you get down in exposed. I also found a corpse in this area previously, and it's not there now, so if that tells you anything about loot spawns... Uh, then you have that new information. Coming on up, we're about to the top now. Take a quick look around the outside. Maybe any goods out here, but I doubt it. Yeah, let's head in. Should be able to use this place to warm up a bit. Yeah, you can see our, our cold is already coming down. 
calories. We don't have that many left. Let's take a quick peek and grab ourselves a snack, shall we? Pinnacle peaches. Is that what that was? Pinnacle peaches, yeah. Do we have a can opener at this point? Let's look around this hut first. We have a can opener now. Beef jerky. Tomato soup. Sewing kit. Beautiful. That'll be used for repairing clothing, I think. Yeah, that's right. You're warming up. That's a good thing. What do we got? Ooh, another rifle round. And no rifle. It was on this rifle rack last time. Candy bar. And that's all we're going to find there. What do we got up here? Anything that we can loot? Nope, just decoration. First aid kit, energy bar, bandage, mm, antiseptic. Handy. Sweet. This is a lot more medical supplies than I had found last time. We are still freezing, so I am going to burn a, uh, start a fire. Cardboard matches, wood matches. Cardboard matches will be the one we're going to use. Cattail and a book. 18 minutes with the book. Sure don't last long. Why don't we do some reclaim? No. No. Wow. Yeah, let's start the fire with this for a better success rate, 85%. Our skill isn't very high in starting fires, so that plays a part. You earn skill as you do these uh, these activities, obviously, that makes sense. And the better chance you have of starting your fire with, with lesser quality materials, things like that. So start the fire. You can add fuel after the fire is started, so that's what we'll do. We'll add some reclaimed wood for length uh, of the fire and just use this to get it going. Come on, fire. I believe in you. There we go. Fire started. Let's add some fuel before it runs dry. Add it in the book. It should be going for yeah, 29 minutes now. Reclaimed wood should add... Does it not tell me? Guess it doesn't tell me. About 30 minutes looks like. We'll do an hour and a half. Prepare f Oh, I didn't realize you could do this. Yeah, let's do this. We'll cook some, uh, cook some of this venison. about blinky hours left. It's an interesting thing. So we cooked our, our raw meat, so that'll be a good treat for us. Melt snow, boil water. Do we not have any snow? Oh, we can just collect snow, basically. 1.3 gallons. Why don't we go ahead and do that? I wonder why it's telling me it doesn't know. Okay, now it's down to 7. Ah, uh, I ran out of water. Or, I ran out of a uh, fire. Dang it. 71% with our other gear now to start this fire. Let's do that. I really want to boil up that water so it's clean for us to drink. Because if we can get some clean water, we don't have to go through all of our soda. And our soda seems a bit more, uh, well, I don't know, a bit more clutch. Then again, I guess it depends on how you look at these things. This game's interesting. I really dig the atmosphere and just how, like unforgiving a lot of it seems like it, it's easy to freeze to death it's easy to get surrounded and uh, killed by wolves so uh, definitely something to keep in mind let's burn more reclaimed wood about two hours worth of fuel here let's see if we can boil this down <laughs> yeah I'm sure you would Okay, so we got ourselves some clean, potable water at this point. If we could maybe prepare this tomato soup. Nah, let's just go ahead and eat our, our venison. Where is it? Right there, venison cooked. That'll get us about almost 500 calories back. That's good because we're definitely running low. How are we looking on thirst? We are very thirsty. Good thing we drank some or did some water there drink it up. It took about, okay, we drank about, yeah, 0.7. You are not thirsty. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, wait. Don't want to do that. What do we want to do is eat a little bit more. Found mainly on carnivorous trees. Yes, yes. I probably should cook that if I really want to eat it. Why don't we? Ten of sardines. Yeah, let's eat that. See if we can get our calories back over a thousand just a bit. We don't have anything we can tear down or apart currently into cloth that we can use. Fresh deer hide. If only we had a workbench here. That would be that would be nice. That was empty. We've already checked everything else here. How are we doing? We're not cold. We are getting pretty uh, fatigued. Why don't we at this point go forage some more? 
So as you can see, definitely a, a bit easier and a bit quicker to use the hatchet for foraging this stuff. We'll get a lot of reclaimed wood this way. Forge two tender plugs, seven reclaimed wood. We're going to start another fire before we go to bed here. Estimated fire duration so far, that's great. How long do we got? Four hours of daylight left. Certainly hungry. Let's eat some energy bars. That'll get us nice and right. Still a little more hungry than thirsty, but dang, okay, fair enough. You know what? I'm not going to start this fire. We are not cold in here right now. This is actually holding us together pretty good. Can we try the radio? Anything work on the radio? Okay. Why don't we do this then? We're going to go out a little bit more. Get some more firewood. Burn another 400 or so calories. But we'll be well stocked. On firewood, that is. How are we looking? Definitely tired. We're still a bit hungry now. Let's eat some beef jerky. Oh, we are over encumbered too. So what we'll do then, since we're encumbered and it's getting to be pretty late, we're not going to really want to be out past this time too much. Uh, let's drop some things here because you can just drop like excess wood. We've got a lot of it. Cedar firewood, great. Uh, we're going to drop that fir firewood, it looks like. That's going to be one of the first things. I know that that's used in one of the things we looked at, and I want to hold on to it if we can. Uh, what else do we got? A s oh, we found a snare? I did not realize we found it. We had a snare. Oh, that's beautiful. We can actually use that to possibly catch some small game. I guess we'll see. What we really want to drop is all this reclaimed wood. That should get uh, this down below a uh, decent threshold there. What else do we got that's heavy? That's pretty heavy. Let's drop that. Uh, bedroll. 2.2 pounds. That's going to get dropped. Antiseptics we don't need currently. Uh, candy bar. We'll eat that. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. We're still pretty heavy looking. Oh, why are we dropping poundage? It's Oh, it's because we're tired. We're tired. That's what's going on. Uh, I didn't want to burn my cedar firewood. Let's grab a couple of reclaimed woods. Actually, no. We got about an hour left. Let's go get some more. Pick up the last little bit of reclaimed wood in the area that we can for today. Coming back right about dark. And if we could see, that would be ideal. We don't have a lamp in our inventory. If we did, we'd be able to equip a lamp and light it with some matches if we had them. God, I cannot see at all. There's the wood stove. Matches, cedar firewood, reclaimed. We just need oh, to close my eyes. Start with that, is it? 72%. If we did wood matches and reclaimed wood, we have about a 50-50 shot. I think I want to do that. See if we can get this going. Come on. I believe in you. I believe. We can do this. We can do this, lady survivor. I don't know your name. I'm sorry. Come on. 50-50. If we can get this started, I'll be ecstatic. Come on. Nice. We got it started. Let's add some more wood to it while we can. Almost two and a half hours worth of fire. That'll be good. Let's take a nap. Let's rest for... Let's rest for nine hours. We'll definitely need to eat in the morning, but it should be about morning at that point. I wonder why it is that that shows it like that, that the unknown... We survived for about a day. Looks like it's still dark outside. We definitely uh, need to drink. Shit. Alright, alright. It's cool, lady. Let's drink. Oh, 
Are we good? We're solid. Let's grab you something to eat then. We got any more energy bars? We got an MRE. I don't want to really eat that yet if we have something smaller. Yeah, we got some candy bars. Let's munch these down. Oh, looks like we got two can openers at this point. Action. Harvest would get us scrap metal. And I don't think we can repair it. What do we need to repair it? Scrap metal. Okay, well that's fine. We'll leave it as is. Um, what I think I will do is grab some of this reclaimed wood and try to light a fire. Now what you can do with these low quality things that you're not very sure of if it's going to work or not, you, you, you can change up your materials, see if maybe you can uh, increase it, but what you can also do is add accelerant. Like I have this accelerant, it bumps up to 93%. So let's use some of that. Boom! So that started. We can add some more fuel to this. What we're gonna do is actually get some uh, get some water and cook some soup. Use the can opener to open the soup. Obviously, that's gonna be our best chance, uh, best bet. Opening, and now we're cooking. I hope it doesn't take too long. We got about an hour and a half left. Let's melt some snow. Try to melt a gallon of it if we can. The first of many. Oh, okay. An achievement for our first day survived. We've melted our snow. We still need to add some more fuel, it looks like. Let's add that last little reclaimed wood that we've picked up and try to boil up that almost gallon of water. It looks like we did. We got about 32 minutes left of fire. Don't need anything else from it, so... We're looking pretty solid. Let's go ahead and eat that other candy bar if we have it. Or do we eat them both? We eat them both. I'm crazy. But where is that tomato soup that we cooked up? Cold. Open. Oh. It's no longer warm. I guess I wasted time. Um, let's see if we can cook this real quick then. Heat up. Come on. Make it last. Beautiful. Didn't take too long to cook that up. Hot opened. I guess it doesn't really add to your calorie intake. It just adds... Okay, it doesn't increase... That makes sense. I suppose that does make sense. But uh, I was kind of hopeful. Maybe we can cook up some of these mushrooms that we've grabbed. Maybe. See if this works. Cooking up these mushrooms. Maybe they're not so great for you if you don't cook them. So we've cooked them. How do they look? Breachy mushroom. Are there separate ones that we cooked? Or what happened to them? I'm confused. Oh, we made tea. Okay, we made tea. So with drinks, it increases our calorie intake as well. That's cool, I suppose. We're running low on food, though. About two minutes left on that fire, and uh, let's take a quick peek. Yeah, we're hungry, but uh, I think we're going to have to make do at this point. So let's open this door and head back out now that it's kind of light out. Close that so nothing gets inside. Don't know if it actually would, but... You know what? How are we looking on what we can hold? We can hold a lot. We're not tired yet. We're going to grab as much as we can so I don't. so maybe I don't have to come back here. And that way we can maybe get back over to that other shop that we were at and maybe make something. Everything good? Yeah, we cleared this place out. If we don't have to come back, that would be ideal. Because I don't like coming up here. It's got a fireplace and a bed, but, I mean, you can make your own bed. If you can find somewhere with a fireplace and a friggin' workbench like that trapper's hut, we're good to go. Just keeping an eye out, trying at least, uh, for more materials that we may stumble by. We can definitely head downhill quite quickly. Get that warmth up. Just racing down the hillside. Okay. It's pretty dark out here. As far well, foggy, I guess it might be. Usually you get a pretty good view. Hopefully we don't run into a blizzard. There are blizzards. You you can uh they, they kinda creep up on you. You can just you totally lose like sight to almost anything. This is pretty bad, but uh it can be much worse. 
This is just a nice little fog cover in the morning. It'll, it should burn off, I would guess. Hard to tell which way is north and south, though. Can't see the sun. So we're heading west, I do believe, at this point. Down to the bottom of the ramp here. Are we going to find anything in this area? Oh, Jesus, bear. He's kind of trudging across there. Doesn't look like he's noticed us yet. It's for the best. I don't want to encounter that little bastard. Hopefully he's not hungry. Let's run around this way into the clear-cut here area. Clear-cut area here, I should say. Jeez. Sometimes I just mix up those words, don't I? So what we're trying to do is cut across this field where the bear was kind of crossing us. That's where I wanted to go. It was pretty much straight to where that bear was and across because since I now know where I where this is and I've been this direction, I kind of know that uh, there's some more buildings out this way. What do we got over here? Oh, nothing. It was just that. Okay. So if we can find the little path that led in here, I think it's right over here. Hopefully that bear has gone. Yeah, there's the sign that I was kind of looking for. We should be able to find, like, three more buildings over this way. I think. Oh, backpack. Pinnacle Peaches. Beautiful. I'll take it. Nothing else. No corpse. Somebody just dropped their backpack. Maybe off those top of those rocks there. Who knows? Maybe they got chased off, though. Maybe by that bear. We're not getting trailed by anything I can see. Hopefully there's no wolves on our on, our, on the hunt. We should be getting close though. How are we looking? Pretty low on calories. We're definitely getting hungry. Uh, we can hold out for a few more. I don't need to eat right away, I suppose. We're almost there. We can get inside and eat. Ah, look at that. Fog's clearing up. Right over here. There's another sign. I think we are getting close, but uh, maybe it's a little further than I thought. Wait, is that it? Right over here. Yeah, this is it. There's a couple of buildings over here in this logging camp that we should be able to loot. Oh, a backpack. And an empty backpack. Anything by these wood piles? Not so much. All right. Let's check this first building. I don't see any wolves or anything like that in the area. No bears. So I guess bears are in this version of the game, huh? They're not. They're not. They're already definitely here. I wonder what other small game we can get. I should put out my snare, shouldn't I? If I can figure out how to use that. I bet you you have to go out there and do it. Oh, cloth. We can use that for repairing things like clothing. Let's check this metal container. Got some more accelerant. Yeah, that's yeah, really good. Could end up being useful. It's just like another pillow underneath. Anything under there? Don't see anything under the bed. Sometimes you will find stuff under the beds. Other than just pillows. Anything on these shelves? Don't see anything. Let's check this drawer. Nothing. Fine. Newspaper can be used as kindling. Or tinder, whatever you want to call it. Got some more wool socks here. We can use those, see if they're better than what we currently got, the ones that were already a little beat up. We got some herbal tea. Maybe we don't have to stand for just that, that reishi mushroom tea no more. That was a weird noise. Is that outside? There's nothing else in here, so we're going to find out. don't see anything, at least right yet. Oh, what is this? A pry bar? Nothing around back, either. Pry bar might help... Oh, I thought that friggin' stump was a wolf. Gah. Pry bar might help in opening safes and things like that. 
like we'd seen at the first uh, hut we, we went to, the Trapper's Hut, it might actually get something like that open. I guess we'll see, though. Another book we can use to burn. Nothing in there that I can see. It's really dark. How about under the bed? Doesn't look like anything's available under there. We got some more cloth here on the shelf. And an insulated vest. Yeah, it certainly would be useful, useful, I would assume. Metal container. What do we got inside? A tin of coffee. Basic gloves. Good container. Grape soda. Pork and beans. Summit soda. I don't see anything else in there. Plastic container. What have we got inside you, plastic container? Give me your loots. Or don't, I guess. Be that way. I found a lamp when I was searching through this place last time, but no dice so far. I guess we're below 500. We should probably eat soon. We've got one more hut to check, so we'll, we'll eat inside. Alright, I guess we got a busted out shed here we can check first. Oh, this is where I got rose hips last time. Another crow's feather. Pulled eight off that one. Probably another eight off this one. It seems pretty standard. Ooh, hello. What kind of goods you got, buddy? Nothing. Cedar firewood, fire log, and another hatchet. Don't see much else in here, though. We're encumbered again. Must be getting a little bit tired. Let's head inside here. Let's see if we can get off to a decent start then. Another flare, let's check a drawer. Newsprint. Yes, it will. This stuff will come in handy. I don't see anything here either. What do we got on the shelves? Gosh, this place looks barren. Some scrap metal, that's good. Got another one of those. That's that's a that's a good thing to have. Wood matches, good. Those are the good matches. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, a candy bar. Or a granola bar, it looks like. Granola. There we go. A toque. Is that how you say that? A toque? Goofy hat? That's how I say it. Goofy hat. Another orange soda. Um, no fireplace doesn't look like in here. But it should give us at least a moment to eat. Definitely encumbered at this point. Ooh, those are good gloves. These ones aren't so great. Let's wear these new gloves. We're gonna take a moment to harvest. Takes ten minutes. And we got some cloth back or something for that. Okay. We got four flares. That's good. Two hatchets. I think I might just hold on to both for now. This vest is definitely decent, but uh, our down vest is better. So let's tear this thing apart, shall we? 20 minutes to harvest some cloth from it. That's fine. We can take that time. We need to eat, though, now. Eat 300. That should boost us back up a bit. And why don't we... Oh, I guess we can't just directly eat that, can we? These are worth calories. Let's take a drink. Now, looking at the quality of this toque, I don't think it's going to be better than what we've got already. A little bit better wind chill bonus, actually, <clears throat> but it's not as much default warmth. Um, let's go ahead and scrap this for some cloth. Alright, we should have a decent amount of cloth at this point. Let's take a look at our gear. Uh, oh right, we had wool socks too. Those are almost identically not useful. Let's salvage this one for cloth, and we'll try to repair some of our clothing, get it back up to snuff. It provides a better bonus the better uh, maintained it is too, so that's something to keep in mind if you're playing this game. Actions. Repair. Take 45 minutes. Sewing kit'll boost it to 100%. Is that seriously all we can do with this? We can't, uh... Repair required materials. Okay, I guess we have to use that. That's fine, I suppose. I just thought you used straight up cloth, but so be it. I'm a crazy person. Those are 94% now, so you can see how useful it is to repair. 
Definitely gets it back up to a good usable position. That is pretty worn out. Repair. Once again, we'll use that first one. Go through the first sewing kit. How's this looking now? It's 61%. A little decent. This thing's still pretty good. Our, our underwear, good. Our down vest might be in use of repair. Our hat's fine. And so are our gloves. So why don't we try to repair our jeans a bit more and our jacket? Repair, select that one. I guess it really doesn't go through that sewing kit all that fast. So that's a plus. Back out. That's 91%. Beautiful. Thankfully, we've still got two cloth left. We might be able to even repair our jacket a little bit more. Not just our down jacket, but the, like, the outer coat layer. The vest. And yeah, our heavy wool sweater. Why don't we see? Well... It's probably fine. Our shoes could probably use it more than that. Oh, they need leather. Cured leather for for uh, to be more specific. I'd say we're looking pretty decent on our materials. We're getting pretty close to not being encumbered either. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that we are about at the 45 minute mark at this point. And we're going to go ahead and call it here. If you guys liked this episode and would like to see more of The Long Dark, hit that like button. Drop some comments below. That's how I know you guys are enjoying these ones. Um, and thank you so much for watching this newest episode in our games from A to Z series. L is for The Long Dark. And we will see you guys next time. Cheers!